Good day, everybody. Happy Monday. Hi, stepping into the week. Oh, yeah. So, usually I'd be telling a donut shop story. But I gotta think of some stories uh, first for a, a while. So I'm gonna talk about some other more more relevant stuff. <laughs> um, thank thank you all for I got a little bit of peach dip here. Um, thank you all for uh, watching the the videos the video that I got uh, filmed recorded by uh i keep wanting to use like 70s terms like videotaped <laughs> you know um yeah i gave kelsey my phone for the second set and uh asked him to record as much as he could of it so that's that's what what i got mm. cheers everybody So, yeah, this gig, I wish I could have got the whole thing, you know, there was uh, much more, like, some of the stuff we did was, uh, it was a real, it was just so magical, you know, playing these old songs. We did three full sets. Of music, uh, each one about about forty five minutes long, I guess. Like we had, like the gig was from two till five, so we'd play a set, take a fifteen minute break, play another set, take a fifteen minute break, play our third set. This is our this this was our set list. Uh, it's our first set. <laughs> um, Second set. <laughs> that's what that's what you guys got to see a bit of, and uh, this was our third set, which was absolutely fantastic. I wish I'd given uh, Kelsey my camera for the third set. <laughs> it was it was good good times, but he did record some of it. Uh, he recorded some, uh, stuff like from from the first set, the second set, and the third set that I don't have, so he's going to airdrop box it to me, so I'll be able to make it into videos for everybody here, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, we did a version of Joe Hall. Now, I brought I brought a song to the band early in the early, in the early days of the band. Um, you know, the band, the band kind of, I'm kind of like the... Um, it's the the, fa the 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 foundership of the band. Like, who started the Silverhearts? Um, in practicality, it was Trevor and Wyatt and Charlie, or Trevor and Charlie, basically, and uh, Wyatt and this guy named Jim played bass. He jumped in, um, but it was Wyatt and Charlie because they both loved each other's songwriting. Now, what had happened is the reason they didn't know each other um, at all. And uh, I was friends with both of them. Uh, Charlie had just moved to town uh, from Aurelia. Um, he was a friend of mine. I knew him. We used to do poetry, t poetry little things together. Uh, that's how we met. We didn't meet because of music at all. Um, and, uh, anyway, so I, now I had this really weird, um, open stage gig, you know, just being, taking any gig I can get, right? And, uh, so I got this one gig and it only paid like 20 bucks, but, uh, for a whole night, you know, but I got free liquor all night whoever all the musicians got free liquor so it was kind of a kind of a bonus deal right um anyhow so 
I one one night at the bar, I ran into Trevor, I guess, and I asked him, I'm like, hey man, do you want to do this? Help me do. It's always better to do an open stage with two people than one, right? And uh, I could do whatever. The guy who hired me told me I could do whatever I wanted. So, um, so I asked Trevor if he would join me, and uh, as a, as a, as a co-host. And uh, then I guess about a week later, I was drunk off my ass again, hanging out with Charlie and uh, Charlie Glasspool and uh, the piano player. And, and I asked him to help me co-host because there was an old piano at the, at, the, at the place I was doing this open stage at. This place I was doing the open stage at, it had gone through a number of, it, was, it, was, it had just traded names over the years. Now it's an old age home. <laughs> um, but at the time it was called Excalibur uh, Steakhouse. And you went in and they had like fucking, it looked like the shittiest 70s dad basement. You, you know, like everything was orange and brown and vinyl and shit like that. And, uh, but they had like little, like knights, like a, 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 a suit of armor like standing in the corner, you know, or a sword hung on the wall, you know, <laughs> like there was actually a number of swords hung on the wall, which was a pretty dangerous thing to have as your, have as your fucking art. Um, luckily no one took one down and went to town, you know, um, but yeah, so, so I introduced Trevor and Charlie and through that open stage, Trevor and Charlie, me, uh, Wyatt and Jim, uh, you know, we became, we kind of became regulars at, at this, at this thing. Like we were kind of the band, right? And um, we would do a lot of Joe Hall covers. You know, we were thinking, hey, we should start a Joe Hall cover band called Hall's Balls. <laughs> and, uh, that's how, that's kind of how we, that started, you know, but, but what had happened is something else came up in my life and I had to quit the Monday night gig, but I, I, I didn't really think about it too much. It was like, oh, well, I can't do that. Um, doing something better. But, uh, anyhow, those guys kept playing together and they did a gig on New Year's Eve at, 1999 doing a little uh like a little dinner dinner gig at the gordon best theater and uh they decided to call the band the silver hearts after a poem that charlie had written um and uh the very next day trevor said hey man you know none of this would have happened without you so you gotta be in the band can you play harmonica with us so, so I was like yes of course you know so anyhow I, I that's a whole long-winded story just to tell you that I I played a Joe Hall song uh called Whiskey Talking that I kind of brought to the band in the early days of the band and uh you know it was so emotional and while we're while I'm playing it you know Trevor put his hand on my back and when he, when I felt his hand on my back, I just like tears welled up in my eyes. Like I managed to play the song fine, but, uh, yeah, it was emotional, emotional as fuck. And, uh, Kelsey got it on tape or on video. So I'll be able to show that to you in the near future. <laughs> Me crying on stage. Um, not really crying. Um, um, Honoring the memory of a of a fallen soldier, you know. Uh, but yeah, it was a great show. I want to show you the harmonicas that now most most guys in blues bands can play a gig using six harmonicas. You know, that's pretty much all you need if you're in a blues band. Silverhearts isn't a blues band. <laughs> So I'm going to show you all the harmonicas that I actually needed to play in the in the show. 
And this is like leave, leaving out, this isn't like all my harmonicas, this is like just the ones I needed for the show, but it's a lot. So I'm gonna try to show you here. I needed uh, all all of the big the big six. Uh, whoa! Can you, you can okay? You're with me still. Um, yeah, I needed all the big six harmonicas. I needed my A flat. Um, I needed all of these other harmonicas, which include uh, D flat. E flat, B, uh, low F, F sharp. Oh, this is a, the enemy. <laughs> um, this is a tremolo A minor harp. Um, some of these are backups. This is a backup D in case my D blew out. Um, and this is a these. This is an E, and this is a low E. So. And uh, now this one here, the Sadel um, that I bought, this is in the key of F. This is a harp I played a whole lot of on on uh, Saturday. And it's like, it's a really high red. The F is a really high register harmonica. And this Sadel has taken me months to break in. And I finally, it was finally able to be played at the show. But. Man, it killed me playing this harmonica. It's so high. It's hard to do stuff on a really high harmonica. Um, and yeah, and then I had these two chromatics as well. I needed my uh, my forerunner for uh, St. James Infirmary. Um, I needed my chromonica for something in the key of G. <laughs> I can't remember what. But yeah, it's a lot of harmonicas playing with the Silver Hearts. Um, it's, it, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a lot. You need a lot. Like, you need a lot of keys because it's just that kind of band. It's not a jamming an E kind of band, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, my one complaint about those... Oh, this is a very exciting video, folks. I hope you've lasted this long for all the excitement. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. It was a great time playing with my old my old friends that you know they're family to me uh, the silver hearts the silver hearts are nothing short of family to me and um, you know it's nice to be back after a little hiatus you know but yeah hopefully we'll get more we got plans we got lots of big plans for the future but we need to get playing again and as covid gets Things get better with COVID, and the more we'll get to play. So, anyhow, if you watched uh, this long, uh, tell me how excited you felt <laughs> when, the, when the phone dropped. All right. Be well, everyone. Thanks for uh, watching and subscribing. Like and subscribe. Um, I do all kinds of crazy stuff here. Be well. Stay free. Have a fucking awesome day. Bye now.